Welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to create an easy editable CV in PowerPoint. Believe me guys, it's much easier to create a CV in PowerPoint than in any other photo editing app. By the way, there's a bonus in this video because I'll giving you three editable templates for free. All right, first of all, go to design tab and then go to slide size custom option. As we know guys, standard CV is printed in A4 size. In centimeter, A4 is equals 21 multiplied 20.7 20 centimeter. But we don't want the picture to be blurry if we save it in photo format. So I think it's better to multiply the size by two times of the A4 paper size. So for width, change it to 42 centimeter and for the height, change it to 59.4 centimeter. All right, click on maximize. So now we have a vertical slide. Go to the insert tab here. I'm gonna add the background by drawing one rectangle shape like this. Get rid of the outline and then change the color to gray. Now insert another rectangle on the right side, remove the outline, right click, format shape, and then click on gradient fill. Here you can click on random preset so you can have three gradient stop available. Click on first gradient stop. Here I change the color to my pre-selected color. You can copy it guys. The second stop change the color like this and do the same thing for the last stop. Now click on the direction option and then choose one that you like. For the last stop, I'm gonna change the position a little bit and then reduce the brightness so I have one darker side. And for the second stop, I just need to make sure if it stands precisely at the exact middle of the slide. Once you're done, duplicate it, rotate it like this, and then adjust the size of the rectangle to make it smaller. For the second gradient stop, add a little bit of the transparency, 18%. And then for the last gradient stop, I drag the position to the most right. All right, let me adjust this rectangle position a little bit. Now add another rectangle on the left center and change the color to black. Add another one. Here, I choose the gray color. Now duplicate it and then put another one like this. Zoom in. Now let's insert straight line. Set the color to black and then add a little bit of weight. Duplicate it to 4 and then duplicate it again so that we have this kind of line. Now look at this guys. The layout is done. Now it's time for the text. Let's start it from the big one. Here I write CV. Select your font, increase the size of your text. Let's bold it so it can be easier to read. Now let's insert another text box. Here you can put your name so make sure the text is big enough to read. Alright, I think it looks good. Insert another text box below the blue shape. Here let's write acronym of CV. Align the text to the center. Add some spacing, change the font and make it bigger. All right, now insert another rectangle shape on the right. Let's call it photo rectangle because we're going to use this as some kind of media to put your photo. Insert a picture from your device, put it above of the photo rectangle, go to selection pane, drag your picture down and make sure your picture stand below of the photo rectangle. Now with control key, select and block your photo and the rectangle, go to shape format and then intersect. Here I want to move the picture by adjusting it in cropping option mode. Make sure to put the face visible in this step. Insert another text box for the content. By the way, in this step, I already have my text prepared in my clipboard. So for me, I just gotta paste it. I'll do the same for this area. Go to insert text box and then paste it. Now for another part, still same thing. Insert text box and then paste it. Let's insert another rectangle in the right corner here. Just like before, get rid of the outline, change the color to black. We still have empty space here. You can put anything that you like, but for me, I just gotta paste some text here. Okay. It looks okay for a CV, you can edit it now or maybe add more text that you like. But I think we can make it better. So let's go to insert and then choose some icons. In this step, you're just gonna make sure to choose any kind of icons that will match with the existing text. So yeah, you can pick whatever you like. Once you're done, spread it out and then put the icons beside of every small title. For this gear looking one, because the background is dark, I think I need to change the color to white. Just like before, let's adjust the position. Do that again and again for another icons. Alright, the information on the right side it still looks empty for me because it still lacks of icons. So let's carefully insert another icons to match the text information. Alright, spread it out and then adjust the position. Here I just gotta put the icons beside of the text. Now select and block these three icons and then change it to white. Adjust the size and position and then add some text. Okay. Now let's zoom into social media. Here I copy and paste an Instagram icon that I get from Google. Now just like before, adjust the size and position. For another true social media icon, I insert it from my device. Alright, we're almost done guys. Now let's spice up some more decoration. So insert a straight line, add a little bit of weight, and then change the color to same blue like we've used before. Duplicate the line, and then put it here besides of the university information. Do the same thing to another part. Now let's add more decoration. Duplicate this blue shape, put it on the left middle like this, go to edit shape and then edit points. Leave the black dot a little bit to make some tail like this. 
Once it looks good, duplicate it to 4 and distribute it vertically. Alright, select and block the 4 tilde shape, duplicate it, move the new one to the right, and change the color to gray. Insert another line again, change it to blue. Duplicate it, and then for another one, put it horizontal like this. Alright, so your CV is done. Pay more attention in this step because it's crucial. Before you save it, make sure to click on Tools, Save Options, go to Advanced, and then tick on Do Not Compress Image in File. Make sure the resolution is in high fidelity. Alright, change the format to JPEG. Now you're done. Alright guys, it might look easy in tutorial, but it's really time consuming when it comes to practice. So if you wanna download it for free, just click the link on the description. If you want another PPT template tutorial, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.